Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 13th, 2017. Welcome to another surviving day on our planet. And I'm just going to start off here with a little view of where we are in our solar system. You can see Mars to the right, but we are right in line with Venus and Jupiter on the right side of the Sun. And that is a lot of magnetic force being tugged and pushed within all these planetary bodies right now. And that's part of the reason why we had those large earthquakes yesterday. And we can expect more over the next 72 hours. I put a a small warning yesterday in the San Andreas Fault, expecting some pretty... I'm expecting a sizable earthquake on the west coast of North America as Venus goes in transition here and goes behind the sun over the next little... over the next 24 to 36 hours. And with that warning came all these earthquakes Small earthquakes at that, but a 4.7 in Gonzales, the 3.0 in Ferndale, and another quake in Yatuga, Alaska, and of course in Russia. This is the last 72 hours for earthquakes around the world. Look at this. Earth is a shake it. Man, oh man. And I really hope that big one does not come to California because they would be devastating. Million, tens of millions of people living on that coast. People need to take heed to these warnings right now. Geologists and scientists around the world are actually quite, quite worried about our tectonic plates right now. And of course, our atmosphere, due to all the volcanoes and atmospheric disturbances, geoengineering. But these three very large earthquakes over the last 72 hours, that's due to, as I showed in the beginning, the planetary alignment with Venus and Jupiter. Here's the last 24 hours. On alert and just gonna give you a quick show here five minutes around the world for weather and not too much to talk about right now except for the cold temperatures that are really starting to dip into uh, North America and Russia all the way down to Mongolia but there is a sizable low pressure building on the BC coastline towards the end of the week and then, uh, yeah, we've got some pretty large low pressure systems hanging over Hudson's Bay right now. And the very large high pressure in the Pacific Ocean. So no hurricanes, uh, no typhoons. There are a couple areas of interest still, but nothing too serious for weather around the world except for the cold, which is normal. The winter is here, pretty much. And yeah, you can see this large low pressure here over Europe. So that will be bringing a lot of cold temperatures all the way down to Romania and through Italy. Large low pressure system over the Mediterranean expecting I can expect some earthquake movement in India and in the Mediterranean as that's a pretty strong dominant low that's hanging over the Mediterranean right now a lot of pressure but those large earthquakes were a lot of release for earth and uh, God bless all the souls that were lost God bless all of us for being here. We are survivors. 
but this is a uh, this was a, a very devastating day for for earth november 12th will be remembered as one of the largest earthquakes in iraq's history 7.2 in halabja iraq and then we had the 6.8 in costa rica and the death toll i'm sure is climbed over 600 by now it was 400 a little while ago god bless all of you for subscribing to my channel Do morning Dew daily events worldwide where i post my severe weather analysis from around the world and disaster alerts as they happen when they happen so stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun thank you to all my new subscribers welcome to morning dew stay young and have fun and get your morning dew Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.